Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Thank you, man. So, this morning, you know, man, I was talking, yeah, I think it was yesterday's video, and, you know, was, people were talking, man, it's going, oh, it's going to be another snow apocalypse, and all that jazz. And as it turned out, at about, well, probably around 3 o'clock this morning, I heard it change from, you know, hitting the tin roof, man. I heard it change from, I guess it was snow. <laughs> you don't hear the snow hitting the tin roof. But at about 3, 3 o'clock in the morning, man, it started dumping rain. You know, and the temps were a little bit warmer. So woke up, man, it, it rained solid for, I don't know what time it is now, but uh, I guess 8.30 or 9 o'clock now. And now it's turned to, back to snow. A few minutes ago, man, it was just huge flakes. Now Kevin up in uh, McCall, man, they got, you know, which is part of his job, to plow and stuff up there. But when he was out, I think it would, he sent me a picture at 4.30 or 5 o'clock this morning in McCall. And there was pretty close to a foot of new snow overnight there. And then it's been snowing continuously. I haven't talked to them later this morning, now since 5 o'clock this morning or something. But, so they're getting pretty hammered there. Muskrat. I don't have my phone. He sent me a message and uh, I think he was saying it hadn't started snowing, snowing on them yet. But that crazy dog is doing. What are you doing, Chris? A crazy dog. So, more than anything, man, I'm glad I did end up uh, plowing our road yesterday. Man, I'm pretty happy I did that because it is a soupy, sloshy mess. I always got cold temps coming. I don't even know what today is, but man, cold temps moving in, which is going to freeze, and then it's going to be an icy mess. Right now, man, as far as temperature, it's not too bad. You can see behind me, man, my one wood, wood crib, man, I've got one row across there. Probably uh, two days worth of split in this crib. So I'm going to, I was planning on going out there and splitting some. Now, which is going to make it more work, but I think I'm going to end up bringing the, the splitter right here and just hoofing or kicking. <laughs> I gotta play ball, man. But hoofing or kicking some rounds over here to get this thing built back up, man. Where am I looking at the wet? Well, I just don't want to use that because this is dry, good. Good start and stuff, man. I got the stuff out under the tarp. And I was looking at this stuff here. Well, actually, I did put a tarp over that. So I've got them ones there, man. If it lets up that I can saw up those, and those wouldn't be as far. But now as long as my, or as far as my poles there, you know, the ones underneath won't be so bad. And my plan was to get them ones split. And then... You know, use that tarp over the the links, but it didn't happen, man. That's the way things go this, around here. Just kind of play it by ear. This morning I've been in, you know, I picked up at a junk shop well, a couple a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, man. I picked up one of those, uh, I think they call it mood lights or something like that, man. It's supposed to be like this UV, UV light. So I ended up clearing an area and I got it up in there in the the trading post, man, dude. It brightens it, man. It's light in there. So that's kind of nice. I'm sure you'll see that here in a few. But right now, and, uh, it's probably feeding my rabbits. Feeding one of my rabbits, check my eggs. And Gonna be pounding that knife out to probably today. We're nice. We got Perry's to finish, and then I got the one for the drawing. So hopefully the next couple days we'll be doing that drawing. 
I think get it over and done. It's one of those things that just sticks at you because every time I'm doing something, you know, when weather's changing and you're running low on wood or split, you know, I got plenty of wood. But, uh, oh man, I gotta do this and stuff. And then you got that little thing over here. You've got to do that. I hate when I put myself in that predicament. <laughs> you crazy dog. Crazy dog. All right. So gotta do some, uh, that one, baby. Do some tidying up in here. We're going to fire up we'll fire up that forge and it won't be on this video. Probably the next one or the next one. I added I got Right now I'm going to fire this thing up. Get the uh, get the juices flowing. I got that uh anyway. I put that extension on the forge pipe out there. I think I showed it a few videos ago. And with it snowing, raining, and all that, I'm gonna fire it up right now. And hopefully there ain't too much, too much crap in it. We're going to pound out. We're going to start off doing Perry's, and then over to the railroad spike knife. What I'm doing. Find this bitch here. Uh, some fat wood. I get going on this, you know, man. After I had, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. But uh, well, it's been a few years back. Oh, at least a couple years. Oh, well, time all runs together, man. The older you get, the more so it does. But I got bursitis from pounding out, man. I was pounding out so many railroad spike knives and things on the back here. I paid for half of this, uh, half of the creek bottom, man. I paid for pounding out knives. That's what I paid for this place with. So then I was doing a lot of knives for about a, that was a good, uh, probably five years. Man, I was selling the crap out of them. And back then, man, like the trap spring knife and the railroad spike knives, yes, there was, there was a few on there. But I'll tell you what, man, you get on there now, and man, they're doing some amazing stuff with the railroad spikes and all that. You know, mine's just an old, and I just pound out and hold a uh, country boy or mountain guy's freaking, uh, I'm just a country blacksmith. I say it all the time, man, I ain't all into all the science. I got the books and stuff on it, it just, you know. But anyway, when I was getting that, after I got that bursitis in my elbow, Dude, man, my my elbow, 
it was sticking out like it was so weird looking out all deformed looking and stuck way out I was like wow man it's not gonna it took like a year but I didn't pound nothing you know in that time and then after it got a little better man I'd pound stuff out and then I was man for oh geez Probably seven years, man. I was obsessed with pounding things out. Well, I still, man, I use my forge all the time. I would never, ever, ever get rid of this forge. You know, I got other ones, man. I got to rebuild and stuff. Because I buy and sell them, rebuild them. But I would, I'll always have my forge, man. Because, I mean, I make hinges and, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, gate latches and, you know, stuff for us. Which is my favorite to, uh favorite stuff to do is when I'm making stuff for us. Well, smoke seems to be smoke seems to be going in the right direction. Let's see something I've talked about too. Well right now I'm just starting this with just pitch and pine. And I gotta go get some uh I did out under a tarp, but so actually it's right outside, right out here. I don't know if it's under a tarp or not, but I've got a biochar. And that's what I use. You know, when I started off, I used coal. And you used to be able to buy it at the recyclers. But as time has went on, getting coal and I don't know, Mount, well, I, man, that was actually even down when I was down by Marcine. Then all of a sudden coal started getting hard to get. Well then man, I was all happy. Before the right not too long before the COVID. It was after I'd went through the Brasidas thing and a friend of ours, which actually I met through Kevin D. Him and Kevin are a really good friend. I won't mention no names, but he's like one of the only Democrats in our in our county. But uh I ain't no Republican, man. I ain't no Democrat. Just remember that. But, anyway, one of his places, because he's got a few different places on his homestead, and one of his places had a bunch of coal in the basement, and all we had to do was, you know, carry it out five gallon buckets or whatever. We could have all we wanted, man. It was a huge pile. It looked sweet. We got a couple five gallon buckets of it. And then the COVID hit. And then when that hit, you know, obviously for the, it was probably a year before we even talked to him or got back, to, you know, to him or whatever. And, uh, it wasn't really about the coal, man. It was more, I can't even remember what it was. And we were going to go out to his place and uh, he asked Kevin if we'd gotten vaccinated. Kevin, uh, so, no, man, no, no, we haven't, <laughs> I don't believe in that, <laughs> and he tells Kevin, you guys are dangerous, you better not come around here, <laughs> so, <laughs> that was it, man, that was all, I haven't talked to him since, man, great guy, too, I love the guy, but, after that, uh, we ain't talked to him since, man, now it's been probably two years. So they were my source of coal and my friend. That was kind of crazy. Good story for you, I guess. <laughs> that thing needs to, or it's sucking up there, so I'm going to let it get burning. Going in here in the middle of a project in the um, trading post in here. to let this get burning then I'm going to add some coal and then I'm going to start pounding out pounding out some knives you got a man right underneath you I've got the uh, brush and stuff on the ground right there I'm going to have to clear it so I can get to that really man I ain't got a ton for you the weather sucks <laughs> Even on Muskrat's video, man, freaking says something about that. I know he don't much like the snow, and no, I do not. 
I was just telling somebody the other day, man. So I think I've said it before on here. Yeah, I grew up this crap, man. I grew up McCall. You know, I remember, man, freaking walking up banks onto the roof of the cabin and sledding off the cabin, you know, and it was just killer sled hill. And I loved snow when I was a kid and all that. And I think it comes with age, man. When you, uh, you know, I was raised by my grandpa and, you know, grandpa was the one that <laughs> that shoveled out the walkways. Grandpa's the one that plowed the, the road in. Grandpa's the one that fixed the frozen pipes. Grandpa, Grandpa, Grandpa. Now I'm Grandpa. I don't know how much I like the snow, and the older I get, the less I like it. That's all I got to say about that. But I ain't leaving my Idaho. Born and raised, baby. That's all I got for you, man. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share. All over at the uh, Patreon, man. Get over to Patreon. And sub or do whatever you do over at Patreon. I have a video loading for it right now. I probably, you know, around my little thing or whatever, I was going to do at least two a week. I'm having some issues with the, uh, you know, it could just be the operator. But some issues with the, I think I'm going to have to pay to use it, you know, the different editor downloader thing or whatever. So I'm having a few issues getting videos on. Like the video I'm getting ready to put on is actually a video I did last week. And it was like an over a 30 minute video. And I'm breaking it up to try putting it on in pieces and see if it's easier to do that. It's a whole different whole different deal than uh, YouTube. But we'll get her we'll get her figured out, man. And hopefully we'll get a bunch of Patreons on there. So man, get over there and check that out. Check out the eBay store. Any of you resellers that still watch, you know, I don't know how many uh, junker resellers watch the videos and just curious of how your sales are for the Christmas season, man. The, it's, uh, man, knock on wood, in the last two or three weeks, man, Christmas season, there for a little bit, I was going, wow, man, I don't know, you know how Christmas season sales are going to be, but man, it's picked up a lot better, so I'm happy about that. I hope you guys is all are, are too. Now the snow is actually drifting in here. <laughs> so, good Lord willing, and them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Next video will probably be pounding some, some iron.